Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and welcome to a Town Hall 10 Hog Rider attack strategy video. In this one, I'm going to break down the planning and execution of a hog attack at Town Hall 10, because especially with the balancing update, which I'll be covering very soon, hog riders are getting a buff, and they're going to be that much better at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. We're already seeing them be more popular, but um, I think they might even be one of the top attack strategies, if not the very most popular after this update. So we'll have to see how it plays out, but definitely a strategy you guys should know. So let's get right into it. Two bases to take a look at. I'll show the planning, kind of the reasoning first, then we'll take a look at the actual attack second for each one. Um, these are good bases though, FYSB, uh, Great Clan had good bases, but we got some awesome attacks. This one was actually my own attack. The the planning for it was basically this. When, it, when you're doing a Town Hall 10 hog attack, you want to look for a strip of the base that is good for sending hogs through. And the reason that this is a good strip, like going in that direction, either direction really, but especially that direction, is because it's a nice compact part of the base. There's not going to be a lot of spring traps or giant bombs. Um, just uh, like one or two single giant bombs, which can be covered by heal spells. So not a whole lot of traps in that area. Um, and it's not more than the width of a heal spell. That's also important. You don't want your hogs to get super spread out because you want to get good value for those heals. So it, it is about the width of a heal spell, this, um, this lane that the hogs can go down. It's separated by the other defenses, by these buffers, like by this area. Um, also just kind of by the gap right here. So there's kind of a buffer. There's not going to be defenses that the hogs are going to kind of drift off to. You know they're staying within the parameters of the heal spell, and you can get some great value there. So that's a good area to hog um, right off the bat that you can identify. Then the question is, how do I get the queen taken out? Um, how do I get the rest of the base taken out? Because you typically need to get one Inferno Tower, um, a good chunk of the base, the heroes, um, the CC if necessary. It's a Hound Loon CC, which is probably... Um, by far the most common CC you're going to face, the Lava Hound Balloon. And when that happens, you have to be creative with your queen because it's not as easy to do a queen walk or to send her in with your kill squad because she'll just get stuck on the hound and you don't even want it to pop really. So for this one, I identified a good place to send bowlers through. Bowlers are a really effective kill squad if they go through a part of the base that's compact and that's, the compartments are small enough that they keep them in a tight group. You don't want them spreading out too much. I knew I had to get my bowlers in this compartment going this direction with a jump. Now that took um, a very heavy investment for funneling because there's a Tesla right here. It's not easy to get the funnel and to get the wall breakers right on that compartment because it's a very small uh, surface area to get wall breakers on. But I did what I had to do to get that open because that was really important. Basically, the bowlers staying in one compartment, making their way down. I rage them up. They get great value. There's a golem and the king as well. I want to get both heroes. I want to get some of these expos. Just all these defenses. Then the jump to get them to this inferno tower. Now, what am I going to do with my queen? Because she's going to get almost no value being sent in with the kill squad because of that lava hound. So I drop her a little bit delayed as the kill squad's going in. I drop her right here to step up and take out these three defenses. That's important because those are three point defense that would be targeting my kill squad because the jump can't quite reach that and probably my hogs if my hogs even live that long enough to, uh, to be alive. So I wanted to make it so the Inferno Tower was accessible. I wanted to basically funnel my troops into the Inferno by taking out these buildings right here and also taking some of the damage off them. So a good place to put the queen. We'll see another attack that also uses the queen in a very creative way, but you have to be creative. Um, typically she'll be separate in some sense from the kill squad so you don't have to deal with that Lava Hound in the CC. You just let it stay up the entire attack, which is the best thing to do, and you poison the balloon and also the heroes Pretty good value for a poison right there. So anyway, that was what um, the plan was. I sent the hogs through. Let me kind of back up for a second, get this all erased. Um, I sent the hogs through in this direction. You want to get the Inferno Tower first. If there's still an Inferno Tower left up, typically you want to come at it, get it taken out early. Um, that's what I did. I got a nice freeze value. I got the Inferno, the Bomb Tower, and also a Tesla that was in there. Then I had my two heals, one heal here, one heal here. Now, they couldn't quite cover this last bit of defenses. So when I said that 
the lane is about the width of a heal spell. Not quite true, but it's difficult to get that. As long as you can cover the majority of the hog lane with your heal spell, that'll get you some great value. And if the hogs um, kind of occasionally meander out to take these out and then come back in, that's fine as well. So the heal spell placement was good. I was able to get some great value, some great coverage. And also I didn't have to worry about anything um, anything in this area because the natural buffer kept the hogs moving in the right direction with this CC, with the king pad, the storage, then this buffer by the inferno tower kept the hogs where I needed them and they got the job done. So that was the, uh, the plan, that was the uh, attack strategy. Let's take a look at the execution now. So here we go with the attack. I'm going to start off with just a few funneling troops to get things going. And then uh, from there, going to have to invest a little bit more into creating the funnel, like I said. But it's definitely worth it to get the bowlers in that compartment. Um, so right here, I drop a Barbarian to trigger the Tesla. Then I drop my Golem on the Mortar and a few Valks a tad early because the Golem wasn't quite tanking all that it could. But a few Valks to get in there, get the Tesla, get the storage. And from here, the funnel is a little bit better. Um, wall Breakers can go in. That Golem steps up and tanks both Wizard Towers, which is what I need it to do. I drop the bowlers a little bit off to the right because I don't want them to walk up to the Elixir Storage and Air Defense. I want them going inside the base after they take out that Wizard Tower. Jump, Rage, Poison, all that good stuff. Moving through here, I'll drop the Queen down right there. Maybe a tad late, but I think pretty good timing. Uh, she tanks one of the Archer Towers and she takes out um, quite a few of these defenses. Now I got a little bit close right here. Um, the King coming through, needed to get that Inferno Tower taken out and it helps that the Queen can help funnel the uh, the troops in because she's still doing funneling right here by by taking out those defenses. It's, um, it's making sure everything stays in the uh, the middle of the base there. So the troops get the Inferno Tower taken out. They don't get that Expo, but the Inferno Tower was all I really need them to get. It was very close, but they got the job done. Hogs come through. I had the freeze, the heal. Now here's the second heal. Luckily, it'll last long enough for that last giant bomb, which is by the Wizard Tower right there. So all splash damage is down, and against Hogs, Wizard Towers can be very deadly towards the end of the attack if you don't have a heal spell, just like they can be for Balloons. Not quite as deadly as Balloons, but um, they can do some damage. So luckily, only point defense, which isn't that much of an issue with the amount of Hogs I have left up. They get a glancing blow by that giant bomb, but besides that, they're doing good, and they're going to clean up this base here. So we'll go ahead and fast forward. Um... And that'll be it. Yeah, so basically all you're doing is you're sending in uh, your kill squad, you're using your queen in a creative way um, to avoid engaging the Lava Hound. You can oftentimes get very good value for your queen, as we'll see in the next attack. And uh, hogs going through in the hog lane and um, taking out the uh, at least one Inferno Tower typically, uh, but no more than one would be ideal getting the job done. So anyway, that will do it for this uh, attack. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next plan uh, for this next hog attack. So this next base might not quite look like a hog base. You might think to use something else first. Probably not going to be the first thing you think of as going to be hogs, but it actually works out pretty nicely on this one. And let's talk about how. Now this, the fundamentals are the same even though it's a slightly different variation. The fundamentals are almost always going to be the same for a hog attack, and that's what you want to try to get down. So the first thing is a creative way to use the queen to not have her engage that lava hound. Now, you, you can do queen walks around the outside of the base, but oftentimes it's difficult to get value at Town Hall 10 to, in keeping her away from the lava hound as well. You don't always have to keep her away from the lava hound, but I'd say almost always it's a good idea to not have her engage that lava hound because there's typically a better way you can use her. So for this one, no healers on her, just drops her right down here. She creates the funnel and takes out the king and this cannon. Now, the queen is a great at creating funnels, so you can use her if you're trying to get bowlers in a difficult place. You can use her as part of the funnel creation because she can not only get value by taking out defenses, in this case also the king, but she can also create a funnel, which she does here. Easy funnel on this side. He sends his uh, kill squad with the, uh, the king, a golem and some bowlers, I believe, up the gut and goes ahead and jumps them in right here. Now, like I said before, you almost always want to get one Inferno Tower taken out. It's difficult for Hogs to go through two different Inferno Towers because they need to be healed up. So um, he gets this Inferno and something else that's important to the Hog pathing on this base. You can see this is a very good Hog lane to send Hogs through this uh, lane of the base. A heal spell can cover the entire um, 
diameter of it. So hogs are going to be in the heel spell, assuming it's uh, at the right like latitude or whatever. So th th the point is that it's narrow enough that the hogs can all stay together enough to get the value of a heel spell. So it's a very good uh, lane for hogs. The problem is, and oftentimes for bases, are the core of the base where there's wizard towers, sometimes Tesla, sometimes giant bombs. You want to get that neutralized with your kill squad a lot of the time because it's difficult to have hogs that go through here, then meander in here. They might engage this inferno tower early. They might engage um, skelly traps possibly. There's just too much in the core of these bases and it's too, it's a bad shape of a base for your hog to go through to have them split. It's more of like a circly blob thing, which you don't want. You want a tight, narrow lane. And if you can create that, you're in a good uh, situation. That's why this jump is very valuable. He drops the jump like right here. So he's able to connect the core in his troops get in here. I think they get some of these expos taken out. They actually get in here and possibly grab a wizard tower. But the point is they're getting anything that's possibly here, such as giant bombs or Teslas and even if the hogs go up here, they come back down and continue on this lane, which is uh, the, the the part of the base he wants his hogs to stay in. So he heals them a few times. He does not freeze this inferno. It's important to know why. The inferno is isolated enough that it's no, it does not need to be frozen. There's not many giant bombs near it. I don't think there's actually any giant bombs near it. Um, that's one reason, because if you hit two giant bombs and have the inferno, almost all those hogs are gonna die. You're, you're in some big trouble. But um, that's not the case. And also, the Inferno Tower range only extends out like that. So there's not a whole lot of defenses the hogs have to encounter in which they're being targeted by the Inferno. Um, if the Inferno is being surrounded by defenses in this compartment, kind of like the last base to a certain extent, you want to freeze because you can not only freeze multiple other buildings, but you also, your hogs are going to be attacking buildings, um, def attacking defenses while they're under the, uh, the pressure of the Inferno stream. So that's the main reason why. Um, so no freeze needed, just heals them up a third time, I believe. Uh, and is able to get the job done. These last few defenses go down a little bit closer, but um, a lot of the times the hog attacks are works out nicely. We'll go ahead and take a look at the attack. So here we go with the next attack here. This is Devin putting down the, uh, the queen right away, like I said. She's going to die, but she can take that cannon for a little while and uh, take out the king, uh, the cannon, get some good value. On the other side, he has uh, the golem, a wizard for the funnel, very easy funnel there, wall breakers in, drops the king, bowlers, good uh, deployment on all of that. Quite a few bowlers, a few of his own, plus a few from the CC, so making sure to have a, a heavy amount of bowlers, really get deep into the base. The queen actually takes out the king because um, he doesn't quite follow her all the way out, and she kind of shoots him in the back as he retreats, so it works out very nicely. Gets the inferno tower, gets uh, some of those expos, and like I said, that's huge. He's getting in there, he's getting all the way towards those wizard towers, and that's going to make the hog pathing a lot easier. The bowlers step up, they almost get that last uh, expo there. They just can't quite get it, but it's not a big deal. And um, like I said, he has three heals. Gonna drop that second one right there. And because the Inferno doesn't reach out as far, because it's kind of on its own a little bit, he doesn't need a freeze. Now with the Teslas popping, you can make more of an argument for a freeze because it's going to take them longer to get in there, get the Inferno Tower taken out, and they're taking more damage around that Inferno Tower area. But still, it's worth it to... Uh, to not bring the freeze, just bring the heals, because as soon as the Inferno goes down, they get healed back up, and it's only five hogs that can't get healed, so if you have a big enough group, they can kind of fight their way through, and only five of them will be, uh, be negated of the freeze effect, or of the heal effect, I should say. So anyway, good attack to Devin. That'll do it, guys. Like I said, um, it's just about creativity. Look for the hog strip, look for a place to use your queen, and look for a place to send your kill squad through. Whether it's Valks or Bowlers, you saw Bowlers, but Valks can also work depending on the base. Just kind of use your judgment there. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video on that if it's that important. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, any questions you have, anything else you want me to cover, I'll be sure to do. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.